Hey everybody, JJ from Deluxe Vehicle Detailing and Paint Correction in beautiful Clearwater on location today. And here is our 1904, not 1911, as I stated in the before shot. This is the after shot, uh, just spent about three hours, like I'm calling this a light detail, but uh, I uh, sprayed uh, panel by panel down with ONR and then uh, in my uh, gamma topped bucket here, as you can see, sorry for winging you around. I'm just gonna show you some of the things that, well, that isn't even very good. But we all know what a gamma lid is, right? And uh, I also used my Solo pump sprayer. I love the people at Solo. They sent me a really nice Solo cap I'm gonna wear in a Solo only <laughs> video sometime soon but anyway here we have the 1904 this is a whoops sorry terrible here i've also got my uh my new astro pneumatic uh light let's see if i can do some justice here so i'm not happy about how this uh this paint came out at all because the problem being is this thing, when it was at the paint shop, I'm going to try and show you. It's got some ghosting. I thought maybe where this had been polished by a non-professional, she had kind of wiped the metal polish around some of the brass. I don't really know what the case is. Uh, let's see if I can show you this kind of swipe. It's showing up to me a little bit. It's kind of a sail shape, kind of like a V in white. Uh, this could have been done at the body shop. Uh, this was six years ago. This was done. I'll show you the wheels. I did a, uh, a polish. I used a Malco metal polish. I also used white diamond. Uh, I've got everything here. There's the Malco. There's the white diamond. I also use Lexol just for a basic wipe off and uh, my client uh, really loves Meguiar's as I do and uh, so I, I kind of shined up but brought a little richness with the uh, gold class uh, leather cleaner conditioner. Got some synth wax on at the end. This car is probably going to have a little more done to it. I did some brass polishing like on this uh, wheel. Uh, like I said, two-stage process of just get the dirt and dust off. It was uh, actually uh, compressor air blown. Then it was uh, wiped down with just the pH neutral, no big deal. Not really a cleaner, more like just something to pick up the dust and debris. All these deep, deep pockets here. Uh, this uh, Cadillac is called a rear entry, and that's because in the back of the car... This is how you get in. I polished the brass, gave that a little cleanup. Here we are coming into the back of the back seats. Very, very cool. You can see they've got the horseless carriage license. Very cool uh, light system for the back in 1904. And uh, that's about uh, it. So anyway, this is a uh, really cool car to work on. As you can see here, uh, this is a full machine shop. It's going to be a museum. There's another car. There's another car. There's another car. Winton. Love this thing. Look at that beautiful automobile. This, I happen to know, is a Stanley steamer because there's the big steamer. Yep, it runs on steam. There is a fire truck. There is a uh, fresh roasted hot peanut stand. There is another beautiful car back there. So I help my uh, client out uh, when he's got uh, when he's got some issues. I do some consulting. I uh, just uh, try and do where where I can. And these cars are going to need a lot because this museum is going to open up, and there's going to be people all around them, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to help uh, maintain this collection and there is a lot more to it than that so 
thanks for being with me. Uh, thanks for kind of, you know, showing you a little bit of my process here. This is not a how-to or anything, but uh, I just wanted to share, and uh, I think this is a, a special moment uh, that a lot of detailers don't get a chance to do. I'm happy that I do. All right, please subscribe, like, share, do all the things you should do. I'm almost at 100 subscriptions. Come on, help me out here and uh, push me over 100. <coughs> all right, thanks a lot. Take care, bye.